In another video, we talked about osmosis, which is the process where water crosses cell membranes. But how do water molecules cross membranes? After all, water molecules are polar. And we all know that polar molecules cannot cross the hydrophobic lipid bilayer membrane. And indeed, water molecules have a very hard time crossing a pure lipid bilayer membrane. So how, how does osmosis occur in living cells? The key is a protein called an aquaporin. Aquaporins are a family of proteins that form water channels. And in the, the name aquaporin means water channel. And these proteins are found in every cell in all domains of life, whether we're talking bacteria, archaea, or eukaryotic cells. And in all of these, Aquaporins assemble as tetramers. There are four identical subunits that assemble in the plane of the membrane. And here on this figure, we see a top-down view showing each of the four identical subunits in, in different colors. And what you see in this top-down view is that in this yellow, okay, that is a view of the channel, the cavity that's formed by these uh, aquaporin proteins. So the yellow is the water channel. As these molecules assemble into a tetramer, they often form also a channel in the middle, shown here in the green, that could transport other molecules or uh, f serve as a channel for other molecules as well. Okay. So some of these uh, aquaporins are actually gated, meaning that in response to cellular signals, they can actually open or close their water channels. Here is a nifty molecular animation of an aquaporin channel. This is a computer simulation incorporating lots of data. It has the actual structure of a single aquaporin channel. And here you see these really cute red and white water molecules winding their way through the central channel. Here, this uh, yellow molecule is a special labeled water molecule, so you can keep track of the progress um, through the channel. And what you're seeing here is a molecular simulation of 12 nanoseconds. 